Okay, so this, you see these are all of the same size, the same shape, okay? If they are, say for example, this one here, you know, you cannot put it together. Even if you have, you don't have enough, you know, you cannot put this together because it's size. Okay, so, okay, like for example, this one here is, kita panggil dia grade up, uh, uh, stage apa ni? Ini kita panggil apa? Uh, lebih kuning dari hijau ke ataupun sama banyak kuning dengan hijau? Uh, so where do you put it? Stage 3 or 4? So possibly it's 4. You can leave it there and probably you come tomorrow, dia dah lebih. About 75% kuning. Ni pun dah boleh makan. Kalau macam awak lapar kan. Macam macam buah mangga. Seminggu. Ya dia punya ni kan. Ni lah. Ni orang kata sumpah hati. So okay that's all that we have for today. I think uh, all this grading you know. Determining the grade. Is something that is not common to everybody. Yeah. Banyak orang tak tahu. You know, kadang-kadang bila saya pergi kelas, saya, saya dengar student buat presentation, oh dia kata dia ikut grade Mardi. Mana ada grade Mardi? Hmm. Tak ada. Sirin. Dia bukan Sirin. Malaysia Standard. Malaysia Standard. Malaysia Standard. Ha. Siapa pengeluar Malaysia Standard? Sirin. Dulu, yes. Dulu dia panggil uh, Sirin. You know, printed by Sirin. But now, it's no longer. Now, it's Department of Standard Malaysia. Under the Ministry of Agriculture, eh, Department of Science. So you can find this for kicap tamen, you know, for any kind of kicap. Mm. And they cannot call it soy sauce; they call it kicap. Mm. What is the difference between soy sauce and kicap? This is the A. Okay, this is the nice. We, we must take a picture of this company. Uh, Asa, huh? kita kena ni lah. Kita nak an extra of this. We can cut and put the yeah, and laminate Asa, and then letakkan dekat atas so that we have the new uh, payola. Yeah, the new payola. Hmm. Apa sih cakap pada waktu tadi ya? Kicap. 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 What is the difference between kicap and soy sauce? Like if you go to Japanese restaurant, kan dia ada jual bagi awak makan kikoman. That is that is soy sauce. If you have less than 13 percent nitrogen in the kicap, in the liquid tu is called kicap. Okay? Because kicap is made from uh, gula yang dihanguskan. Dicampur sikit aja soya bean. Ya, soya bean yang dah di, di, yang di fermentasikan, dicampur sikit saja. So, dia kurang, dia mengandungi kurang dari 13% nitrogen. Sedangkan, soy sauce is made from soya bean. So, it will contain more than 13% nitrogen. So, not just anything. Kalau kalau bergaya sangat nanti kan balik kampung, banyak <laughs> mak nak beli kedai, tak nak beli soy sauce. <laughs> balik. Kicap, kicap apa? Kicap, kicap mandel, kicap abc. Huh? Awak pernah tengok tak kicap abc? Uh, uh, ada kan? Tak ada. Ha, kicap abc. 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 Kicap tamen ke, kicap cak ayam ke. Padahal, kalau tak ada kicap tamen, tak boleh makan. Kicap tamen. Kalau perak, memang tamen is perak. Kicap tamen dari perak. Ada tak selalu mahu beli kicap? Tak ada kan? Kicap kipas pun is Indonesian. Yang sedap yang merah tu. Apa gula dia lagi tinggi? Cuba orang bawa datang sini, kicap berapa banyak gula dia. You know? Kalau yang hijau tu yang untuk masin. Kalau yang merah tu memang semua orang suka makan sebab apa dia lebih lebih manis. Tengok sekarang ni kan lebih uh, sekarang ni banyak banyak ayat uh, teenagers dah dah, dah kena penyakit kencing manis. Kencing manis. Kencing. Makan kecap Kalau hijau tu apa kita makan garam lebih ke? Dia garam lebih lah. Kurang gula, kurang gula lebih garam kan? Ha. Yang warna yang, biru tu. Yang yang biru saya tak pernah tengok. Ada ke biru? Ada juga. Hijau tak boleh lah. Kecap. 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 Kecap.
If you go, if you pergi study nanti kat luar negeri kan, okay, you, they, you, you don't ask for, you don't ask for kicap, you know, uh, they need to dapatkan kicap. Because when you ask for ketchup, they give you tomato sauce. Okay. Bukan kicap, ketchup. Saya dulu macam tu lah. Ya, saya kata, katnya kicap kot sebut kicap. Kita sendiri buat dia ni. Apa dah benda ni? Aku santan dia nulis akan say it, ketchup. You know, it's ketchup. Ketchup tu tomato sauce, kalau American. Okay, bukan kicap. Ketchup. Okay. Ada hari itu kan, saya tengah duduk, uh, orang tu ada telur tau. Dia kata, dia, dia kata telur kan, yang orang dia datang buat terung. Terung pun telur juga pada dia kan. Buka banyak sangat all these foreigners bekerja sekarang ni kan. Where are the Malaysians? I don't know. They are not there. Siti semua bersama bersama. So anyway, okay, that's all from the for the ini for today. That's all that we have to show you all. Uh, for this one, you don't need dengan hemo freda. Kena dia ni macam mana bentuk? The shape. Ah, the shape. The shape hemo freda. These are all hemo freda. These are the maknyas on the bed. Bunca. Bunca. That one is lebih-lebih ni. Yang lebih ke pergi komisen yang ni. This one, yeah. This one, dia akan lebih, banyak lebih buah yang lima produk dari buah yang lebih. So, kalau you, kalau di locally, you can get lah. But, mainly for export. But the problem now is, even China request us to do vapor heat treatment. Vapor heat treatment tu adalah rawatan fumigasi untuk mencegah lalat buah. Yeah, so you have to do vapor heat treatment to export to China, and they have not, apa namanya, they have not studied in detail yet. Saya baru saja dapat funding under Ministry of Agriculture under Department of Agriculture. So saya buat kajian dia akan lakukan vapor heat treatment, okay? Dan saya akan tengok kualiti buah selepas. Bukan sebab vapor heat treatment ni, kalau tidak digunakan air, dia guna hot water treatment. Dia masak air itu about 40 to 50 degree Celsius, dia celupkan dalam tu selama 10 ke 20 minit. Nak bunuh telur, nak bunuh peni uh, lalang buah. Okay? So, bila dia keluarkan tu, you imagine lah kalau 10 minit ke 20 minit, mungkin buah tu akan masak, uh, uh, akan ma uh, I mean cook. Ataupun kalau dia tak masak pun dia akan bila dia tak dia tidak akan melalui proses peranuman yang seperti biasa. You know because it has been uh, ini uh, inhibited ya yeah, by the high temperature. So dia nak tengok lah all that all the studies nak tengok uh, the storage life, the shelf life, the quality. Baru dia akan tetapkan. Because right now ni dia apa yang dia buat vapor heat is dia masak air. Wap yang dah keluar tu dia letakkan, didedahkan uh, betik ni kepada wap yang keluar. Yeah, steam. Yeah, the steam tu. So it's about 42 degrees Celsius. You expose it for about 10 to 20 minutes or so. So they want to study nak 10 minutes ke, nak 15 minutes ke, nak 20 minutes. Okay. So they will be looking at that and I will be, uh, apa ni, uh, ni lah, checking on the quality of the products. You know the the Vapor heat treatment unit tu, dia beli tiga unit, it cost them 5 million ringgit. You imagine. 5 million ringgit, so bagi dengan tiga. Satu-satu tu lebih, ya, lebih satu juta harga. Okay, and and the the problem is they don't have people there nak buat benda, nak buat kerja-kerja ni. So they have to come here and ask us to help them. Tak, because then 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 jabatan pertanyaan aku lah akan aku kata untuk siapa yang nak cepat betik, dia will send it here dan dia will do the treatment here and dia will explain. Because nak kalau seorang nak beli kan tak mampu nak beli kan, so kerajaan beli, so buat di sini dan dijual di ni lah dilakukan rawatan di di pak menteri.